Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tablets from Me. And today we're going to do a video tutorial on everything that you need to know about using your stylus with your Samsung Galaxy Note 5. One of the most um, interesting and new features with the Note 5 pen use is the fact that now you can write on the screen with the phone off. So I'm just going to eject the stylus out. As soon as I do it, it's going to recognize that the stylus is out and you saw that little feedback there. But now what I could do is I can take a message. So I can actually write down um, an address if that's something that I wanted. I can also take down a number. I can take down whatever I need and still have erasing capabilities, changing, uh, you know, doing things with my stylus here. Uh, again, with the phone off. Once I put the stylus back into the phone, that note is going to be saved. I don't even have to click on the save button. It saves automatically. So that to me is the most popular new way to use your stylus. So let's talk about direct text input. Direct text input refers to any field that requires a entry of text. You'll notice right here, um, I have an area where I can actually type in a, a message. And if I were to tap it, you'd get your keyboard. With the stylus out, if I put my stylus over that same field, I get a symbol for text input using the stylus. So I'm just going to get closer to it again, tap it, and now I have the ability to write a message. This is for those of you who really like writing versus typing. So I want to type in or write the word hi, and you notice that it automatically recognizes it and converts it and even does the spelling correction. So you notice I have the word hi there. Uh, something else that you could do with this, and you notice if I tap, it goes into the normal mode that you're used to. Um, I can also draw. So I can go into a drawing mode. And in the drawing mode, I could draw whatever I'd like. And if I want to erase something, I can, you know, to fix it. I could also change the color of the pens if that's something that I wanted to do. I'll put my little nose on, and I'll just choose done. Now, by doing that, it's going to not only include the text, but it's also including the picture that I just wrote. This applies to more than just uh, sending text messages. You could use this for uh, URLs, like if you're in a browser, or once again, any field that has text input, as long as that little T pops up, like the one that we just saw right there, you'll be able to use this function. If the um, symbol for using your stylus to type doesn't show up on your screen like it did on mine, it's typically enabled by default. What you should do is go into Settings and go into S Pen. And here you'll notice that uh, the, the features, direct pen input, needs to be on. If it's not, all you got to do is tap it, and then you could turn it on just by tapping in this area here. The S Pen also gives you the ability to expand content without actually having to access it. So, for example, if I take my S Pen and I put it over these flowers, you'll notice that it opens up immediately. So I can see or I can get a preview of what's um, in that photo. Um, you could also do this for calendar entries. So if I go into the calendar and I want to know what's going on on a specific, a specific day, all I have to do is put my pointer over it and it will open up automatically to show you what's there. So it gives you that preview uh, with that hover without having to tap. Now to enable this function, all we're going to do is we're going to go into Settings, S Pen again, and you'll want to go into Air View. Now I showed you how you can see content uh, I showed you how you can use your calendar, but there are several other things that you can do. You can see the pictures as we talked about, but you also can use this to hover and go ahead in a video. Very similar to what you see on some videos that are um, highlighted online, where you can just put your pointer on it and it kind of gives you a snapshot of what that um, is about. You can also use your S Pen to scroll, and I'm going to show you that in a second. You can actually use it to move up and move down, and also uh, to get a preview of what's on a link. Let's take a look at those two features. So here I have a website that I've opened up, and as you notice, as I move my pointer down, I have a hand, so it has a pointer, and as I go down, you'll get these double arrows that will show up, and all I have to do is put my pointer right on top of it, and it's going to scroll uh, downwards. If I go to the top, I can do the same thing. If I put my pointer over a specific article, um, you'll notice that you see uh, the little hand is there, where you can also use this to tap. So this is a really neat way to make sure that your pointer is right on the item that you want to select. Sometimes you, you run into that problem with your finger but there's a lot more accuracy when you're using your stylus as you move it around. When you remove your stylus you go into a mode that's called um, kind of like an air command mode. I'm going to move this uh, symbol right here. Uh, once you tap 
this, uh, you'll notice that this will open up. Uh, this is your air command area, and you have several things here. You have action memos, which we're going to talk about. You do smart selects. You can write on the screen. You can go into uh, and create specific notes. Or you could also add shortcuts. And you notice I have my calculator here. Let me show you how you can add another shortcut. All you do is you tap on uh, that open spot. You notice that I have here two that I can remove. That's what that minus sign indicates. And what I can do is choose another program to, to come up as my shortcut. So let's say, for example, I use uh, Amazon quite often. I'll choose that and that shows up there. Now um, when I choose my back button and I look at my air command, now my air command can, uh, also has that Amazon shortcut. So all I do is tap on the shortcut that I've selected and let's do that. Uh, the application that is part of that shortcut launches. Now your settings for your um, air command are under S Pen again air command. And what you'll want to make sure you have is um, these features enabled. So you want the floating icon, which is this. And this floating icon, by the way, you can put it on any side of the screen. All you got to do is put it wherever you want. It could be on the top, bottom. Again, if you are, are a righty or a lefty, you may want to choose where you actually put that air command. And, you know, when you move it over to this side, you know, it opens up uh, so that if you're a lefty, this works out a little better for you. And if you put it on this side, it opens up if you're a righty. Um, once again, you could also put this on the bottom, on the top, or any of the corners. So you can put it wherever you'd like. Uh, the other thing is you can also enable it so that Air Command immediately opens as soon as you pull out the pen. So this is the area that you would select to make sure that that takes place. Now let's take a closer look at Action Memos. What we're going to do is we're going to tap on the Action Memo. And what you have here is the ability to write any type of note uh, that you'd like. And so if I can write writing a note, you have the ability to change the color of your stylus ink. Uh, you also have the ability to erase something if you don't really like the way things look. And you can start all over again. Uh, you also have the ability to save this note for later use. Uh, here on the bottom, you have the ability to share it. Uh, so you can send it via messages, Facebook, S-Note, um, any program that can take uh, input uh, and forward the message, you could actually share it with or store. You'll notice also uh, when I did that, the note is kind of like in a little hover state. It's not on my desktop, but it's right there since I'm working on it and I haven't really saved it yet. It's just waiting for me to do something to it. So I can write my note. I can erase it. Um, I could also then add another page. Now this page is not a notebook. It's a memo. It's more like a post-it note. So if I press plus, I'm starting a new, a new um, kind of note or action memo. Um, other features that I have here is I can say pin to home, which is very different from what we saw a couple seconds earlier. You notice that the pin to ho home, I actually have a preview of the note. So if I go back into it, I have some other things that I can do here. Um, I can link it to an action, which I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, set it as a reminder. Uh, and I can also change the background color. Uh, these are kind of the things that I think most people use the most or would like to know how to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into list. I'm going to show you some of the features. And if I were to choose this one, this is a note that I already written. I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm going to go into more and I say link to an action. Now when I do that, it automatically selects the text and it gives me some choices. I can, if this is a phone number, it's the fake phone number, and if I choose phone, it will actually launch the phone dialer and then um, allow me to use the number that was just written, which is what many people do when they want to call someone. So you write down the phone number for later use. You could also take this number and add it to a contact. You can take this number, message it to someone, uh, or if it was an email, you know, it would be an email, and if this was a web address, you'd go to the internet. You also have the ability if, uh, for example, I'm going to get out of this for a second. I'm going to go back into list. And let's say now I'm looking at a street address. So here's a note with a street address. I'll do more, link to action. And as I move over, you'll notice that I have the ability to choose map. So it would, if someone gives you an address and you write it down, you could just say, show me a map. Once you've written it, it's going to recognize the text, convert it into what the phone will recognize, and then show you uh, that, that location. And then also, you can convert something into a task. So the action memo has a lot of capabilities. It also has the ability where you can resize it, so you can make things larger or smaller. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit save here. And as you see here, the action memos are all organized and saved together. So what you can do is delete them, manage them. You can search on notes as well. And the neat thing is that even though you're um, you know, actually uh, writing things on there, you can look at various type of search parameters, either by type, by time, or by a tag that may be um, in the memo or the action memo itself. 
The next feature we're going to talk about is Smart Select. So if you choose Smart Select, it gives you the ability to select anything on the screen that you would want to save. So what I just did is I highlighted an area and it's uh, done a screen capture of that area. You can have different type of, uh, of selections. You can go with a rectangle, a lasso, an oval, or you can do a, an auto shape based on what's being selected. The point is, is that once you've made that selection, you can save it to your gallery, you can uh, write on it, you can share it, uh, or save it in the scrapbook. Uh, again, this is just you see something on the screen, maybe there's an image, um, an outfit that you like, shoes that you like, and you just want to select it. This will work anywhere in any application that comes up on the screen. Once you place an action memo, you pin it to your um, home screen. If you want to remove it, all you have to do is press and hold and then drag it to the remove. Keep in mind that when you choose that, you're not deleting the memo, you're taking it off the screen. The next function here is screen write. And with screen write, what you can do is it takes a screenshot of your screen and it gives you the ability to uh, take notes on that screen. So what you could do is you can just write something on it. You notice I have some blue ink there. If I don't really like the color, I can change it so that it's something that I can see. And I also have various pens that I can choose. So maybe white is a better color for writing on this screen since I have a black background. Uh, but literally all you're doing is maybe just writing, pointing something out. It's good, I think, for someone who's trying to create like a tutorial or trying to explain something um, on there. You could also do erase if you like. Um, and if we go back again, you'll notice that you have the ability to share, save in a scrape, uh, scrapbook, or save it to uh, in your gallery as well. So some very similar functions that are predominant throughout. Another function within the uh, screen write is the ability for you to capture an entire page. So let's say, for example, um, you're looking at, let's say, Craigslist, and you have a list of items, and you want to be able to forward the results to someone. You could do something that's called a scroll capture. And with scroll capture, it's just going to move the page down, and it's going to capture. And if I do capture more, it's going to capture, and I can continue to capture, and you'll notice here the entire website is being highlighted. Uh, once I'm done, I have now uh, an image an image of the entire website that I've selected that I could use to take a note or to forward to someone and maybe um, give them some some details about these items so what I'll do is I'll go to my black uh, text and I can say hey check this out and send this to them with all my sharing functions that I have here the next uh, function I want to show you is the S note now the S note works a little bit different because it's actually a binder. You'll notice how you, how you have all your action memos here and they're all um, separate, right? So the, each one has an individual page. When you start working with the uh, S note, you actually can create a binder and this binder is going to have many pages. So unlike the action memo where you add a page, as you see right here, this is where you add a page and it creates a separate post-it note or a separate action memo. This is going to be a binder that has multiple pages. Same uh, features are available here. You can choose the type of pen that you're going to be working with. You can choose um, the color. You have the ability to race. You can use text. Here you can actually insert an image. You can um, do a selection of some sort. Um, you can save it. And you also have the ability to change the background, um, Mag magnify the note, record uh, sketching, so whatever you uh, are writing, it, it's going to record it and almost create like an animation. On the bottom here, you also have um, favorite pens that you can create, so you can, you can refer back to them. You can create um, a shapes. Um, you also have uh, the magnified note that we talked about. And uh, also you can add tags, which is one thing I just wanted to mention as well, which is, helps you when you're doing some searching. So a lot that you can do here, very similar to the action memo, as you can see, uh, but has multiple pages. All right, so uh, check out the um, the actual S Note feature. And by the way, um, all these features, if you're logged in to your Samsung account, are backed up. So you'll never worry about losing them. If your phone goes bad, all you have to do is log in again, and all your action memos, all your S Notes will reappear. Now, before we wrap up this video, let's just highlight a couple other things that you will want to have on. Uh, the pointer feature literally uh, gives you that little hand icon or the dot uh, as you're using your stylus. So you can enable that or disable that if that's what you want to do. We also showed you how to use the screen memo with the phone off. This has to be enabled in order for that function to work. This right here uh, will basically um, give you an alert. Uh, and I subscribe to the um, alerts uh, because I think it's important for you to know if the pen were to uh, pop out 
um, you want to know that the pen has, so you'll get an alert, a vibration or an audio alert. You also um, can enable pen detection. And this is just to make sure that your pen is connected. So between these two, you know, I think that these are important to have because they're going to cover if you helping you avoid losing your pen. It's going to help you notice when the pen uh, gets removed. And again, great features to have. And the last two here are S Pen Sound and S Pen Vibration. It's not really loud, but I do like the vibration. And I do like the sound when um, you're removing the pen. So these are just a couple of the features that you should uh, keep in mind when you're using the S Pen that make kind of the experience complete. So this concludes our video uh, in-depth tutorial on how to use the S Pen uh, and all its new features. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions about it, please see it on the YouTube channel. Once again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.